My 2017 RPOD 179 just had its second birthday. In this episode, we'll look back at last year's repairs to see how they've held up. Then we'll look at the issues that arose this year, and later I'll share my favorite upgrade. Hey everybody, this is John Marucci. Thanks for visiting the On The Road YouTube channel. You know, this channel is all about helping you get the most out of your RV travel experience. Before we get going, welcome to the channel. If you're new here, remember to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified when new videos are published. If you want to dive deeper, we put more content and photos on Instagram and Twitter at John Marucci. So let's jump in. You know, birthdays to provide a good time to reflect on how things have gone. So let's review the issues we encountered during the first year and how they've held up. The first and major thing we ran into is a black tank drain pipe that came loose from the frame. Now we have two videos on this issue, and if you look on the channel for the black tank and search there, you'll find both of them how we fixed it. Now we ended up fixing it with um, some scrapping tape and a new bolt, and it worked really well. And that's held up fine, by the way, over many thousands of miles since then, so no issues with that fix at all. The second issue that happened with the 179 in the first year is we had hairline uh, fiberglass cracks that appeared near the entry door. And this is one of the items, among several others we're going to talk about, that we were able to get Forest River to fix down at the factory before the end of the first year. We brought the RPOD unit down and they fixed this, among other things. And that still looks great, by the way, so they did a great job fixing the fiberglass. Another item that happened was the entry door would stick. Now, this is fairly common with some RPODs. So our door also had a problem where it just didn't close real easily. You had to pull it really hard. And this was, again, one of the items that our, uh, Forest River fixed when we had it down for the first year warranty work. We also had an issue with the slide out. So the slide out had an occasional very small leak, not major, but it just had a very small leak. And again, this is another item that Forest River fixed for us at the end of the first year. And we haven't had any problems with it all in that regard since that fix. The next one was a shower surround that came loose. Now this is fairly common. And the issue came up, we believe, because this was an R-Pod that was built in the winter when it was pretty cold in the factory and the shower surround was sealed. And then in the summer when it got hot, the materials expanded and it popped loose from the wall. It was very easy to fix. We actually put some double-sided tape behind it and replaced the caulk, and we haven't had any issue with it coming out since then, even in hot weather. Okay, so that worked really well too. And we did that, by the way. We fixed that ourselves. The next one was a toilet bowl. We had a toilet bowl uh, seal that leaked. In other words, it wouldn't uh, keep water in the bowl. And this is, again, another item that when we had it at the factory, Forest River at the first year uh, service, fixed that and actually replaced the toilet for us, which was really nice to do. And it was a great uh, fix, never any problem since then. We also had an issue with a seven pin cord connector. The actually head of the connector came loose, uh, which isn't a, a really good thing because you need that to be tight when you're traveling. Again, an issue we brought uh, on our punch list down to Forest River when we took the unit back to the factory at the end of the first year, and they fixed that as well. There are two issues with slight cracks. We had a crack in the door shelf in the refrigerator and another crack in one of the wardrobe doors. Both of those, again, were on our punch list when we brought it to the factory, and they replaced both those, no problem. And by the way, uh, all of the things I've talked about, they haven't been recurring problems at all. So really good that they, they did a good job fixing those. Okay, we had a kind of a common issue that comes uh, along with many R-Pods and really RVs is the window shade issue. So what happens with the window shade is the cord within the shade that keeps the tension comes loose and breaks, and you can't easily put the shade up and down. And so the first year we had the passenger side by the bed broke. And again, this is another item that Forest River replaced under warranty. And uh, we'll talk about the other one in a few minutes here. The other, and, and finally, we had the kitchen, ki kitchen sink caulk that needed to be redone. So we did this one ourselves pretty early on. We noticed a little dripping, and we noticed that the, the caulk around the kitchen sink, it's an inset sink in the 2017.5, and we just put some silicone caulk around there, haven't had any issues since. So those are all the issues we just talked about for year one. And by the way, just, just stopping for a second, you know, they were fixed well. So Forest River, the ones that we asked them to take care of, they took care of and fixed fine. Haven't been any issues since then. The ones we took care of also have held up well. So really good in terms of fixing things. So let's segue then into year two. So this would be the second year of the unit. And before I get started, it's important just for everyone to know that I did purchase a second year warranty, an extended warranty directly from Forest River when I bought the unit new. So this back then they were actually selling 
uh, the second year warranty for just $150. I don't believe they do that anymore. But I did purchase that second year extended warranty and that covered a lot of these things that happened in the second year. Some of these we fixed ourselves, some of them not. So let's talk about what happened the second year. Probably the biggest issue in year two was the power converter failure. So this is about 18 months of owning the unit. The power converter failed. Unfortunately, it failed the first day of about two, a two week camping trip, it failed. And we realized that the battery was not getting charged from the 30 amp shore power. And so what we had to do quickly, I found out online, a couple of guys helped me out online and you said you need to quickly go out and get a battery charger, which I didn't have at the time. So we hopped out to Walmart and got a battery charger. And pretty much that whole trip, we kept the battery charged. So we would plug the battery charger into the outlet on the outside of the R-Pod and keep it connected to the battery to keep it charged up. Now what happened after that, I have step-by-step -step in a video, if you just search the channel for the converter replacement, you'll see a step-by-step -step video and tells the whole story. But basically we were able to get a replacement unit and fix it ourselves. A couple of the other things, a few of the other things that went wrong in the second year was we had the, the outdoor light. If you remember in the r -Pods, there's a little oval shaped light that's on the body by the tongue. That just stopped working. We replaced the actual bulbs and it didn't do any difference. So it actually had to be replaced. These are, this is one of the issues that we actually took to the dealer. So a quick story about this. When I asked Forest River to come back to the factory, the factory for me is about 50 miles away. Um, they wanted me to take it back to the dealer, which I did. Now the dealer for me was in Ohio, so it's a bit longer of a trip. But I did take it back for these other items to the dealer. And this was one of the items, the light that went bad by the tongue, and the dealer did replace it. So that was replaced under my second year warranty. Another thing that happened was one of the outdoor speakers just was working intermittently. Now we hadn't used the outdoor speakers much. It's just usually we're in campgrounds, there's a lot of people around, we don't feel good about jamming music. But this one was working intermittently and the dealer also repaired this. I don't think they had to replace it, they just uh, secured some of the wires in the speaker. And this is a side point for this. Just remember to test things that you lightly use, especially if you're still under warranty and really any time, test those things that you're using very lightly to make sure they still work. And the speakers, the outdoor speakers was one of our issues like that. Okay, another item was the black tank valve was sticky. Now this has nothing to do with the hanger. The hanger worked fine through the second year as well, the one we replaced that we have a video on. But the valve, we actually shut the valve after you drain your black tank. It was getting a little tough to shut. You had to push really hard. And that was also uh, repaired by the dealer when we took it in for the second year warranty. Uh, another thing I have a video on is the ottomans. We actually replaced one of the ottomans. You can find that video on the channel. But they tend to come loose, and I think they come loose because in the 179, it's easy to hit them, uh, jar them when you're getting inside, in and out of the dinette. It's pretty hard to get in and out without bumping them. Once in a while, you run into them, it'll knock them loose. But eventually what will happen, it'll start, the screws will start gouging out the floor. They're not really secured into anything but the floor, and so it's easy for, for them to come loose. And again, we have a whole video on removing the ottoman and actually doing a cosmetic uh, fix to the floor. So it looks pretty good. And we did that repair ourselves, by the way. A couple other things uh, to note, we did have the vent. If you guys remember the bathroom, uh, right under the bathroom, there's a little vent cover. And that vent fell off. And we realized one of the sides wasn't secured into anything, any wood or anything. Uh, and so it, it came loose and came off. And when we took it off to fix it, we actually, we actually did this ourselves. We found some construction debris underneath the uh, wet bath there including the instructions for a thermostat. So that was kind of nice to find, but we did do that fix ourselves. Uh, and then, like I said a little bit earlier, now the driver's side front shade cord broke. In the first year, the passenger side did. This year, the driver's side one came undone and the dealer did replace that with the new model and actually matched it up perfectly with the other one that we had or replaced by Forest River. And then another thing that happened was the, there's a little partition. If you know the 179 underneath the stove, there's a little partition under the stove, very kind of loose, uh, a light partition, very thin board. And it came loose and was falling over. And apparently in, during manufacturing, they screw that in from the top through a small piece of board, like a half inch by half inch board into the, into the shelf. And the dealer re repaired it by screwing it up through the shelf into the board and secured it much more securely. And so that's something the dealer repaired in the second year warranty work too. And finally, uh, and all those by the way above, all got fixed and are working great and look great. We have one more issue at year two that we're still dealing with and that's the floor around the kitchen has a little bit of flex and give to it. We noticed this about you know uh, a couple months before the end of the two year warranty. 
and uh, it's a, just around the kitchen area where you're doing a lot of standing and walking. Uh, we inspected it and could not find any uh, evidence of any kind of water damage in the unit at all. We looked under the bathroom, removed the vent, looked there, removed the ottoman to look under there where there's some utilities, removed the panel under the fridge. We couldn't find any entrance of any water at all down there. The dealer also, by the way, when we took it in, they also inspected it and couldn't find any sign of water damage at all. So we're pretty convinced at this point that it's just the floor you know, starting to soften over time. And I think there can be some given the floor and it doesn't necessarily or automatically indicate water, a water leak or damage, so be aware of that. And remember the floor construction on the R-Pods is really just styrofoam that's sandwiched between two very thin pieces of Luan board. So it's very lightweight for a purpose, but unfortunately it's not incredibly durable. Now we discovered this under warranty and just to let you guys know, this is still a pending issue as of this video. We're still interacting with Forest River over this. So okay, to wrap up, why am I sharing all this information? So primarily for those of you who watch the channel and are looking for our pods or looking at travel trailers, we wanna help you level set your expectations. You know, RVs can help facilitate a lot of fun and be very enjoyable. And you can do great things in an RV and go fun places and enjoy uh, fun times with people because of the RV facilitates that. But at times they can be a bit frustrating and it, it's at times can be you know, a little testing of your patience when things, especially little things and if not big things go wrong. So having proper expectations of the ownership experience can really help you have a better attitude throughout the process. So it's a good thing to level set your expectations owning an RV, even a new one. So okay, in wrap up, what's my bonus favorite uh, upgrade feature? I'd have to say it's the Husky Power Tongue Jack. Now this Power Tongue Jack has been fantastic for two years. It's really strong. And you know, I have a Blue Ox weight distribution hitch. So to get the Blue Ox weight distribution hitch on properly, you have to lift the uh, jack up quite a bit and hand cranking that would be very tedious. So the Husky Power Tongue Jack has done a great job in combination with the Blue Ox hitch. And it's been a great product, highly recommended. And by the way, the links for products that we talk about are in the video description below. And as a new thing for all our viewers, uh, brand new, we just want to announce that we're opening a brand new Amazon store. We just got um, influencer status with Amazon. Uh, all you have to do is go to Amazon slash shop slash John Marucci. And we have many items that we put in many of our videos that are organized for you to make it easier to find things. So anyway, if you like this video, remember to give it a thumbs up and share it. We invite you to share your RPOD ownership experience uh, in, in the comments below. We love hearing from you, and you know your comments can really help other people. Anyway, thanks for watching. This is John Marucci, and so long for now.